Hi everyone, Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. It is a beautiful Sunday. Jason is on his way out to mow the lawn that desperately needs to be done. I was planning to do that last week for him during my summer garden shape up, but I never got around to it. So he's coming out to do it today. So that's fantastic. I have two things that I want to get done today. One of them is I have this agapanthus. Let's see if you guys can see it right there. That was an impulse buy from the garden center when I went there the other week and I love it. I'm excited about it. I have a neighbor who has a couple of these in their front yard and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. Um, normally I'm not a huge fan of agapanthus, like the ones that we have here in California. We have them. They're like a plant that is in like parking lots, <laughs> you know, like, like shopping center parking lots, but it's often, I think it's called Peter Pan. It's the light purple variety. And I'm not a huge fan of that variety, probably just because I see it all the time. So, but this dark variety, I absolutely love. And I forgot the name of it. Let me check. Hold on one minute. Okay. So it is called Agapanthus storm cloud and they get two to three feet, um, bloom spikes on top, just like regular agapanthus, but this one will get about four feet wide. So it'll get really, really big and it's good for sun to part shade. So I feel like in the shade garden bed that I have right here, I feel like it's perfect because it is on a north facing fence. You can see right here and that north facing fence during the winter, it's like pure shade. There's no sun. Um, the sun doesn't get high enough in the sky to make a difference, um, to get any sun. But then in the summer, it does get some sun. You can see right there, it gets kind of slivers of sun, um, you know, closer to June and summer solstice, it gets even more sun and it's hot, hot sun. So I have a tough time with this area right here, just because I have to plant plants that can handle that difference between winter and summer. So last week I planted this beach ball pittosporum that I'm in love with there. Um, right behind that, I, or right in front of it, I have some vinca. And then right behind that, I have some variegated Solomon seal. I'm a a little worried about the Solomon seal, but I planted it so close to the fence that I feel like it'll stay in the shade. I am planning to expand this shade garden. I'm super excited about it. I finally have an idea in my mind of what I want. Uh, if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I've been going back and forth all year on really what I want in this garden bed, and I think I finally have a good plan. However, what I want to do before I get too many things planted in here, you can see my beautiful fence. <laughs> it's, it's it's not beautiful. It's not pretty. Uh, so this fence was here when we moved in. Um, for some reason, they decided to paint the like the bones of it. I don't know what you say, like a red color, stain it like a super red color, and I do not like it. So I talked about this last week. My plan is to stain it dark, stain it like a dark charcoal, almost like black. You could basically call it black. Um, a lot of you were commenting on my videos saying, you know, your fence would look really good, dark black, you know, black or charcoal. And I thought, oh, you're crazy. Oh, you have no, 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 no. <laughs> I had, I had no plans to stain the fence dark. And then I was on Pinterest and I was looking at some inspiration photos. Also, I'll, I'll show you right now. And I started becoming obsessed with it. And the more I thought about it and the more I looked into it, the more I thought a dark stained fence is perfect. It is exactly what this space needs. Um, when I was looking at it, so a light fence, like a white fence will kind of close in the area. It says, cause it brings the fence to you. A dark fence will expand the area cause it makes it kind it makes the borders kind of just disappear. So that is what I need in my tiny backyard. I need my space to be expanded and I already have black mulch back here. So the fence is going to kind of just, um, blend in, or at least that's what I'm hoping. And then the plants can and pop in front of it. So my plan for today is to get this agapanthus in just simply because I've already purchased it and I needed to get out of its plant can. It is way too hot for it to be in a can right now. I need to get it in the ground. And then the second thing I want to do today, last night I went to Home Depot and I got a couple different samples of dark fence stain. And so I'm going to put the samples on the fence. I'm going to put them on just the regular boards. And then I'm also going to put it on the spine. I don't, I have no idea what you call it, but the red part so I can see the difference and I can see what colors I like. And I would love all your input and just let me know what you think. And I'm going to be thinking about it, right? I'm not going to make a, a quick decision. I often do that and make quick decisions, but this is, this is kind of a big decision. So I got to make the right color. So I'm going to get this agapanthus planted and then I'm going to get those swatches on the fence.
Okay, so that was a piece of cake. It took all of six minutes. Jason mowed the lawn and I planted that agapanthus. I got that new shovel. I don't remember what the name of it is. I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, just to help me get through the hard pan soil that I have back here. Yes, I definitely need an auger. I am totally aware of that and I'm gonna work on getting one. Um, but right now that's what I have and that's what I have access to. I think I might need a bigger drill if I get an auger. So I'm just gonna water this in. Jason still has to edge the grass um, and I'm gonna get those samples up on the fence, which I'm very excited about. Ooh, look, my Rose of Sharon is blooming again. Isn't that beautiful? This plant doesn't bloom very well because it doesn't get a ton of sun, but when it does, it is gorgeous and a massive weed. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, moving on. So I am around the corner of my house over by my blue barrels. This is kind of just obviously a catch-all storage area. But what I wanted to do is I wanted a inconspicuous place that I could test the samples. Here's one of them. And then I have three more colors kind of right there. I'm trying to keep them in the shade a little bit. Okay, I've got all four swatches painted. I'm trying to go quick because it is so hot on the side of my house. My phone always overheats. I already took it inside and <laughs> put it in the fridge for a little bit. So if it cuts out, that is why. Okay, so I've got the four swatches. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So the first one is called uh, Green Black which is funny because it looks gray, almost a little blue to me. The second one is called Sleep. To me, that one looks like a solid black, like just your basic black, which is not a bad thing. It might be a good thing. The third one is called Black Forest, and I feel like that one was a mistake. I feel like they gave me the wrong color because the color I was looking on online was much blacker than that. That is almost like a forest green. So I think that was a mistake. And then the fourth one is called Dragon's Breath. And this one's a little bit more on the warm gray side. Um, and yeah, I don't know. So obviously, Black Forest is out or whatever color that is. I don't know what color that is. My two favorite are over here, are the green black and the slate. But now that I'm looking at the Dragon's Breath, I kind of like that too. It's kind of a gray, but I don't think I'm going that direction. I think I'm going in the darker direction. So now the question is, let me grab a leaf. Now the question is, do I like it better? Let me back it up a little bit. Do I like it better a little bit more gray, a little bit more blue tones, or do I like it better kind of like a pure black? And I am not totally sure. Hey, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I'm going to take my time. Like I said, I'm going to take my time, think about all of it. Oh gosh, this lighting is terrible. I'm going to take my time thinking about all of them, um, but these are the four options I landed on, and I think I'm head I'd headed toward these two. So again, I will put the names of the colors right here, and then let me know your vote. And here are the samples that I got from Home Depot. I just went there, and I asked the guy to help me um, pick out what would what would be a good option for what I was looking for, and he picked out this tintable deep base solid color. <sighs> 
can't talk. Solid color, waterproofing, stain, and sealer. I do not know why I can't talk. So yeah, so I just went and I had them tinted all four different colors. Um, and this is probably the variety or brand that I will end up using just because they have it at Home Depot. Side note real quick, one thing I did wanna to mention to you all, um, I do share this fence with my neighbors. We, uh, well, the people who lived here before me split the cost of this fence. So it's obviously half ours and half theirs. And I did speak to my neighbors and let them know what my plans were for this. And I already told them I wasn't gonna paint the very top, like the dog ears on the fence. And I was gonna try my best to keep it all on my side. I also am not gonna use a sprayer simply because I don't want the dark stain to leak through on their side. So I have cleared it with my neighbors. They they said go for it actually what they said is that sounds like a big job <laughs> and I agree with them so it's totally cool with my neighbors we're all good uh, but thank you all who were thinking about my neighbors I appreciate that all right so I think that's gonna be it for today's video it's much shorter than I planned but planting that agapanthus was a piece of cake uh, obviously doing the swatches is a piece of cake and now it's just a matter of debating deciding which ones I want and I know I can go back to the store and I can get more colors to swatch more but I just don't like doing that because I you know I just feel it becomes like paralysis by analysis when you have too many options it becomes a jumbled mess and that's too much for my brain it's like so I think that's why we all like shopping at Costco because they give us like one or two options and that's it. <laughs> that's your only choice and it's very easy to shop there. So I think I'm going to decide between these two. Let me know your opinions. I appreciate you all watching and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.